What's going on, everybody? Happy Saturday. Thank you, everybody, was able to come in last night and uh, listen to myself and Joey on overtime. I know we went like three hours last night, a lot of people popping in and out, especially with a lot of the new releases, the breaks going on, plus the holiday season coming up. We always do appreciate you guys being able to stop by for a few minutes, say hello, and get into the chat and everything. So some of the things that I covered last night during overtime, I want to put into one video right now with the uh, Hobby News. A lot of this stuff really, you know, could go a bunch of different ways onto it. But I'm going to pull up the first one. This was uh, <laughs> kind of interesting. This was on eBay. And if you, you see this, I know this picture's been floating around all over the place. Guy's trying to sell these Letterman patches for 170 bucks, saying, these nuts. Kind of funny. I don't know if he'll end up selling them or not, but, you know, people are trying to be creative now with what they're doing and selling out there. Um, <laughs> I laughed when I saw this. I mean, I, I would have to blow it up more to see who all the players are, but as you guys can see already, you got baseball, you got some football and basketball mixed in there. Uh, no hockey though. No hockey from what I'm looking at right now, but Hey, the guy can sell this for 170 bucks just cause it spells out some words. Hey, more power to it. You never know what'll happen out there in the hobby. All right, let's move on. Boom. All right. This here I thought was uh, actually... Quite unique and funny both at the same time. So, story behind this, a guy purchased the card that's on the screen there, never paid for it. So, the guy was, uh, want to do something different, we'll just say. Uh, Mike. Mike's his name. You can see Chris, the guy, purchased it. So, he took his card, made a photocopy of it, wrote him a note, and then mailed it to him. This was all off eBay because you're going to get the guy's address. Hey, Chris, this is a photo of the card you agreed to buy but never paid for. I just wanted to waste your time opening this... I don't even know what that word is. Oh, opening this like you wasted my time. From what I can see, you do this a lot. People hate you sincerely, Mike. This is awesome. Just to even have like some creativity to send somebody something like this and spend, you know, whatever it costs them, you know, 50 cents to mail it off. Maybe in a buck if you kind of envelope time and all that into it. I, I just thought it was kind of uh, funny. I don't know if anybody's seen this floating around or not, but. I think this has probably been floating around for about two, maybe three weeks. It might even be longer. I'm not too sure offhand. But I'm just wondering what the guy in the receiving end, Chris, there actually thought about receiving something like this in the mail. It just makes you think that, you know, some people are trying to fire back doing stuff out there just to show, hey, you know, we can make, you know, I guess you can say some fun out of the whole thing. But crazy that somebody actually took the time to do this out. I mean, have you guys seen any of this stuff or done anything or seen anything crazy like this? You know, always let me know in the comments. You guys can send me an email, whatever it may be. All right, let's move into something a little different here. I think it is this one. All right, I just noticed this come out. Um, Obsidian Football Preview. And everybody knows I liked Obsidian since it came out. So as you look, same Obsidian thing going on. Hobby boxes will contain four autographs or relics, two parallels or inserts, and one base card. This is what I thought was interesting. The electric etch parallels will come in eight varieties, with the gold flood number to ten making its debut. I don't remember how many they have each year, but at least it doesn't have 20 parallels, and we're not doing retail with different shades of the parallels to make every color of the uniform. I, I still like it. Um... Even though there's going to be eight varieties or parallels, whatever you want to call it. it looks kind of cool, the gold being out of 10. Kind of reminds me of the gold vinyl in a way. But it looks pretty sharp. And here you go here. You got the purple number to 100, orange, green, yellow, red, blue uh, is going to be your 101s. What was throwing me off like because when we were pulling these yellows out, they were out of 25 and oranges out of 75. And you got your greens out of 50 because when you start thinking tops, oranges out of 25, yellows are like sometimes out of 75 or 99. Your greens are usually 99. Number it always gets you, especially like reds. All right, where is it at here? Here's your inserts, nice die cuts, the color blast, second year back. Yep, there it is, second consecutive year. Big fan of the color blast. If you could hit this as your case hit, it's somebody great to get it graded. If you could gem mint that thing, you're in some money too with it. Fan of this stuff. Most of you guys know, fan of this, the kabooms and the uh, downtowns. Uh, just something that really just, you know, looks good overall. The thing that I 
not too favorable on this year as you got the black background, which is going to give you more whiting. They had these in white before in the background, which look good, but the black does make it stand out better. I just think you're going to have a lot harder time with the gem mints on these because your black edges, borders, whatever you want to say, corners onto it. But pretty cool. I don't know if anybody's seen this yet out and about, but uh, yeah, pretty good fan of it. I don't know when it's going to release. I might try to snag a couple boxes of it. Maybe hit the uh, Color Blast finally. I've never pulled a Color Blast for myself, so it'd be something different offhand. All right, one last thing I want to hit. Like I said, I'm not going to make real super long videos anymore. It's going like 20, 30 minutes. Try to cover a bunch of stuff into one. We'll see how that goes. Unless it's something, you know, where it's a break where I got to play it longer. All right. Let me flip this over. Maybe. There we go. All right. And I know we got some guys that are lawyers or work in a law field and everything like that. So please, please feel free to comment on this as always. It's good to learn this stuff. So this here's another picture that's been floating around. Record video when opening parcel. No return if no recording. Come on now. You really want, you're not going to do a return if there's no recording on. I got the concept of this. But, I mean, seriously... How many people are going to actually take the time to record them opening up their packages? I mean, I do it just out of bad habit. I'm not going to lie. But um, th this here, wow. Really crazy. I don't know how many people have seen this picture floating around now. Probably for about ooh, a couple days now. Two, three, four, I'd say, tops. But just interesting. Somebody went out there, purchased a stamper with that wording on, stamping everything. I mean... Honestly, if it's eBay, they're going to force you to do the return regardless. I, I really don't think this would hold up much regardless if you're trying to do a return, if it's recorded or not. But quite interesting. I figured uh, instead of breaking these down to like four smaller videos, we just link them all together onto this one here. But let me know what you guys think of some of this stuff. I mean, people are starting to get real creative out there. We are hitting towards the end of the year. Um, for myself, I'm usually really busy trying to best, you know, get my books and everything done ahead of time prior to tax season rolling around. So that way I can move into the new year. Um, you, you will see as the holidays start coming around, we're going to see more scam videos come up where people are getting busted. It's just that time of the year. It really is. Uh, people start hurting for money for the holidays and they want to take advantage of other people, whatever it may be. I think some of the biggest things I've seen now are basically with the, I think it's the PlayStation 5 or something like that that they're doing. Um, you guys know most of this stuff. It's why we haven't done a lot of scam videos because most of the stuff that I've been catching is people paying friends and family, people they don't know. That's always a cardinal no-no. Using Facebook Pay or something like that. And I can't remember if it's Venmo or Cash App. We were talking about it last night. Uh, one of them is real hard to get your money back. I don't remember which one it is. I think it's Cash App off the top of my head. Uh, you guys might know more on to it. It's just not really dawning on me with that. But just always be careful how you pay for stuff, especially with trades with somebody you don't know at all. Um, wow, I mean, I've seen some really, really bad stuff with trades going on out there. I've seen a few packages uh, were, were lost in route back from Beckett as well, too. Uh, I know we talked a little bit last night about some of the people doing their Beckett reveals, how horrible the grades are to include even autographs. Be very careful with those autographs now because they are grading them. It seems a li little bit harder, uh, which is a good thing because that way you're not just seeing solid tens across the board. But if that stuff's close to the edge of a sticker on a sticker autograph, be, just, you know, be careful. You might get a six on to it. I think somebody had a six I saw on uh, Instagram, but I couldn't find a picture to show everybody. But all right. Hey, you guys have a good rest of the weekend. The fights are tonight. Tomorrow we got football. Good luck on Gridiron. Uh, got a Survivor Series for all the wrestling people out there tomorrow night. Um, thank, don't forget, uh, Wednesday I'll have the actual preview video out for the Black Friday packs. If you guys want a little bit of a preview preview of it, I went through some stuff. Uh, Last night in overtime towards the beginning. The idea behind that is going to be noon on Thanksgiving, Eastern Standard Time. I'll release them and out to everybody to get. I think right now it's going to look like about 15 packs. Um, they're going to be $100 a pack, and you're at least going to get $100 worth of 
uh, cards or wax back. No more than two items per, per uh, extreme pack. These cannot be shipped because I do have live redemptions for wax sitting next to me. I just didn't want to put wax in envelopes. I'm just going to put them in like a, you know, something there. It says, hey, you hit this wax box or wax boxes, whatever it may be. Uh, idea is to come to live 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll start running the randoms for those. And you guys will see me shuffle the envelopes, all that stuff up, just to try to make it fair across the board. Probably going to start looking maybe every two months or so. I'll release Extreme Packs again. They'll be a lot cheaper. And those there, you know, you might not get, you know, if it's a $50 pack, you might be looking, you know, lowest, maybe $25, $30 bucks for a card back. But there'll be bigger chases in it. Um, but be on the lookout for that video. It'll be longer with more in-depth onto it Wednesday evening. I'll have that pushed out. And then the pack's out Thursday. Other than that, you guys stay safe out there this weekend, and I will talk to you later.